Good day everyone. Our topic this morning will be about the proteins of the Holy Spirit. Okay, but before we continue, kindly press the subscription button. topic this morning will be about the proteins of the Holy Spirit. Okay? Have you ever experienced being poked into doing something uh, in the midst of your hesitation, doubt, indecisiveness, anger, angalitka, hatred, or any situation associated with the frailties of human nature? That naman tayo merong frailties of the human nature now. Okay, many a times we commit errors or fall into vulnerable conditions because uh, we try to build an opposing wall within us to assert uh, our decisions even if it would lead to an inevitable downfall. So, wrong decisions always lead to the sufferings of other people, particularly family relations fall prey due to the wickedness of our actions. So, many people are affected when evil beings control the core of our being. So, relationship with our family, our friends, and the community will be put to a test. So, in situations like this, the Holy Spirit always guides us in many ways. No, the Holy Spirit guides us in many ways as we do not expect. He may touch your heart, your mind, your senses to teach you what you do in times of helpless destitution. God always uses beneficial channels to make us realize that there are better options than what you have in mind. And if we are insensitive or if we are sensitive to the produce of the Holy Spirit, it is likely that you are on the right track. So unexpected events may also allow to happen just to make us conscious that we are going wayward. No? Parang na pariwara na tayo. And our Heavenly Father is in full, full control to lead us to the right path. So events, good or bad, happen for no reason. They are laid down on the threshold of our lives to warn us. Let's be aware in times of trouble that there is a God who loves you, ready to guide and ready to protect you. So as a Christian believer, we should not ignore these signs, for it is the produce of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit guides us, believers in Christ, in the ways of the Almighty and the Savior Himself, proding, reminding, and convicting of us for our mistakes. He always finds ways to keep us close and call on the Father and the reason of our renewal in the Spirit. He is our Counselor and our Comforter. God said, uh, if by the Spirit you put to death the speech of the body, you will live. Because uh, those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. You receive the Spirit of the Sonship. You can find that in Romans 8, 15. The Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all the things. Now teach you all the things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. In John 14, 26. The Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all the things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. So friends, let us pray, fervently pray, and listen to the produce of the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit loves us, guides us, and leads us to God. Good day, everyone.